Okay, so hopefully we are back. Hopefully Jake Stevens' stream uh, doesn't have that issue again. Uh, again, it could be... I know the moment I say that, it happens. We'll we'll see if Luke's issue if Luke's doesn't have the same issue. Um, it could just be a bit rate case, but I don't want to miss a match that could mean there. It, it could mean so much to the group's standings. You know, we we know who's qualified, but this could decide first place. Yeah, I mean, first seed you're pretty much just skipping around, so you don't even have to play in these quarterfinals. See, I told you, Flurry's not here. Ah, you're on Condies. You need to get KD in here. No, you need to get... No, you I, need I to get KP confirm, in here. I can confirm you, Condies. We do need to get KP. See if we can get KP or someone who's not a member of Team United Kingdom. Seems to be quite a few people that could cast. We'll, uh... See if KP can turn up, and if he is unable to turn up, then we will uh, resort to... Think... Uh... Yeah, I don't think getting a replacement should be that bad. No, but... I mean, a few seconds ago, there were quite a few people willing to, but uh, it was just a case where we already kind of had it set up, because... I'm not Only... going to give any more opinions on the match, because then it'll be super biased if I'm actually playing. If you're actually playing, uh, that might not <laughs> Yeah, that won't go down too well. It should be a close match, though, realistically, if you look at it from a normal perspective. Um... What, do you just casually want me to screen share my thing? Um, screen share I can do it with Stevens. No, if you... screen share your thing with me. Nice. We, we'll do an official... Condies. I can see, yes. That moment when you have to confirm someone's Condies during <laughs> during this. Let me. I was under the impression that Flair is here because no one said anything for 20 minutes, and then Zona just PMs me, "You're in." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Okay, so this is for people that want to see what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing. Yeah, hey, what do you mean, man? People are actually getting able to see your uh, startup. Why? Is that good? You good? It, it just proves that I'm not saying, yeah, I can see it, and then I'm not seeing anything. Why are you, why are you making 90 people watch my condies? Your condies stream? are very important. Same. You should, um, obviously I can't change tabs because I've got that right open now, but you should, I think Aaron or Insane said they could cast, you should probably add them as a third. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll try adding them if KP doesn't show up. Elena. Just why not give yourself a bit of a, a bit of Mario Stand Cart <laughs> Battle Glitch perspective in front of ninety people. You need Battle Glitch, come on. You do. I never told you to do this, you're the one doing it. I'm doing it for the sake of no cheat. But I don't cheat. Well, no, but... Wait. Maybe you do. No one knows. You may be corrupt CSL man. That was a... Fantastic attempt in order to uh, receive to Battle mega. Glitch there. I was trying to get a Mega. Yeah, you're not that blatant. Do apologise for that. Wait, how do I get onto my? How do I get onto the Wien fight? So <laughs> I have to keep showing this. I can't see the FC. Do you want me to send you the FC? Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to see it because I can't switch terms. No, but you can. I'll I'll literally read the FC for you. Let me give you. Hey, the look FC. at this guy. Guys. Okay, let me go to the MK Wii chat on Discord <laughs> to give you the FC. 3656. Yeah. 
Seven two two nine. Oh nine eight six. Just there you go. How to do conditionals. <laughs> Once, once you're in, hopefully we will be able to get back to a proper perspective, but this is what happens when the referee of the match or This the... is what happens when you're a cheater, like me. <laughs> this is what happens when you're a cheater. Congratulations, right. you've been approved. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Good luck with the kills. I'm sorry Thank about you. that stuff. Thank you very much. Right. Let's quickly... Uh... And from Ace, we go to me. From Ace, we go to you, yes, we have... We, we get the better deal here. We've had his condies confirmed on stream. Well, oh. it's better than not being confirmed at all. I mean, it's evidence that I'm not faking what I've looked at it. Which no. is... That's what I would expect most. I, I really think most people that confirm condies just by saying, yeah, should kind of just yes. prove that they're actually watching a Condies. Because <laughs> I've seen it before, like people that are streaming are just confirming out everyone else's Condies and they're just going like, yeah, it's like, not I sure confirm. you're watching that. But, uh, I remember this, that last year. yeah, this time we have got me proving I'm actually looking. Um, Indeed. Um... Okay, I'm gonna try. so what is happening? Is the room open? The room's open. As you can see, there's 12 people. You may not be able to see yet because screen share may be slow for you, but it's not for me. Um, screen share's gone, gone off. Ah, I will re-screen share as we start the room. So, there we are. I will have to um, kind of wait for this until um, this screen share does decide to come on again. Hopefully that was a fantastic um, condies. But, uh, <laughs> you can have a pre condies session to the World Cup. It's, it's okay. Can... Oh, for God's sake, I still can't see this sodding screen share. Okay, I'll I'll try and explain what's happening while we uh, try and fix your problem. We will try also fixing Jake Stevens's I Frozen live stream. Um, that's probably my fault again, but let's pretend it's not my fault. As we uh, yes. go on to voting, something the UK seems to be very good at doing. <laughs> um, talented votes. Let's leave the EU. Talented votes. Um, we do see Delfino Square coming out from the uh, UK side. Kind of. Right. Okay, yeah, Jazz's Delfino Square pick does happen to be the one of choice. And, oh, uh, can you... Can you, can you, can you put the screen share on. Can please. I put the screen share on? Yes, I can. Because it, it's still kind of, it's not even giving me the twirling circle. Yeah, there well, we go. There's there the twirling circle. There we are. Okay. I'm ready to, I'm ready for action, guys. Okay. So we're going to be seeing uh, Luke get a draft there. Let's see if we can get enough of a bit rate to keep on one stream. Um, <laughs> I think he'll either try slagging or he'll just backspam around one of these corners, try to hit someone with a blind, but uh, doesn't look as if he manages to connect there. He will be getting a banana, gets bumped off, and we may want to go to... Uh, no, we're not going to be going to Jake Stevens because Luke <laughs> didn't fall as far behind as I thought he would. I thought Luke was going to end up a little bit further behind than he was, but... Luke in eighth place, triple shrooms. Might want to hold two of them to take the cut. Might... Uh, just chain them or use them there. Um, maybe he's just thinking that he'll get another set of shrooms for the shortcut. Sixth place box, it is possible. Fifth, a little bit, a uh, little bit of an iffy one. Does get him. Good enough for him. But uh, he should be able to take the shortcut very soon. Lackey, I believe that was getting back greened. Strange seeing Lackey go forwards. I think we said this before, but. Lackey, recently we've seen Bag. There is actually a blue coming in to hit Nico, And uh, currently, decent spots for the United Kingdom. Not the best on this track where you can very easily take the shortcut on the final lap. Get a dodge. Dodge up. But uh, a blue is not going to do anything to Luke. That was a good play on his part, in fact, holding the, uh, holding the shroom. <sighs> 
holding the shroom is exactly what he wanted there, but uh, I'd, love, I'd love to be able to help you, but I'm still uh, twirling the circle. We'll so try and fix it afterwards. It's not gone too great, so you might have to solo cast for a bit while I get this sorted. Okay, well we're going to be seeing Luke manage to hold his first place. People are taking the cut. He's not. He's only took the uh, dock. We see, I believe, Lua that was in second place. Now, Fib for Luke, not going to be very good if Lua does have a red shell. Doesn't look as if there is a red shell, though. Not going to be able to connect, even if there is one. Back Fib on the final turn might hit someone. I don't think it does. And uh, Jake Stevens as well, you can see spinning out there. So there was fantastic lap for Pow. Hopefully we can give you the scores as quick as possible, but, uh... Oh, that moment when the call dies, because KP's internet dies. Hopefully we can get KP back for the, uh, cast as quick as we can, but... Like I say, we should be getting the scores, and that is going to be a... 33... 42... 43 to 30 race in favour of the United Kingdom... That's going to be plus 13 after one race. Hopefully, um, it's not going to be a blowout. Uh, last race, or last one we saw was uh, most certainly a entertaining race. So there is quite the chance that uh, we could see another entertaining war here. I'm hoping we do at least, because these two teams are quite, quite similar uh, in terms of skill. From what we know, from what we see, there is actually uh, France with a higher point differential, but uh, hopefully we can see the uh, closeness of the match. We are going to be seeing Toad's Factories coming out from uh, the side of the United Kingdom. Um, N64 okay, there we BC, are. I can we, now see uh, your screen share. N64 Sorry. BC is going to be the track choice. Looks like Toad's Factory, which could have been a running track. Uh, not quite the uh, selection. Nope, he's not actually back. KP's call has died again, and if he tries calling me, he will ruin everything. So, hoping that doesn't happen as we do start. BC64, Ace and KP are going to be calling me yet again. Let's see. Looks like Luke... Oh, sorry, Jake Stevens is able to pull a Mega. Gets hit, though, so... Might want to be uh, chaining this. Should be chaining this at this set, maybe. Or maybe using it at the grass. I don't really think a Mega is going to be the most beneficial thing. Unless they have faith that Jazz is going to be able to pull this shock. No, KP is not going to be able to hold on at all. And he does manage to get the grass chain. Jake Stevens there. Let's have a quick look at where Luke is going to be. And Luke, we see, is in fact trailing his triple greens. Gets wheelie bumped by Nico though. See the build coming up as we did see on Jake Stevens' stream. And top three currently for France. Luke could hit them with a few of his greens. Goes for one. Doesn't manage to connect. Might not be able to connect with the uh, other two members in front of him. So he will be probably holding them out just in case the person in fourth does try to uh, hit him or... Just in case he can schlag. Uh, the frame rate of this has gone down the pan. So I do apologise for that. I'm not sure how that's happened when I'm not screen sharing. But uh, people keep blaming screen share when it's not screen share. And then I have races like this when it does kind of act up a little bit. And then it suddenly is fine. And then it's not fine. And then it is fine. And then it's not fine. And it's nothing to do with the CPU or anything. But anyway, Luke is going to be... Holding his uh, red shell in third place. I reckon we should move to Jake Stevens. Jake Stevens also holding a red shell. We will be uh, moving back to Luke. Trying to refresh Jake Stevens' stream if possible. Uh, so that we at least have one stream that might not be so bad. I do believe KP's constant attempts to call me have not helped. But No, we'll actually just go with one stream maybe. That might work better. Um... Hopefully it does, but uh, yeah, we're going to be seeing Luke. Yeah, one stream does work a lot better. Um, we're going to be seeing Luke trail his green still. Does have a bomb. Probably not going to be able to use that bomb to much of an advantage given the spots around him. 
Lua, though, does get past. And in his head right now, he could be thinking, you know, backspam spiral. Hit Zoan. And that is exactly what he does. Jake Stevens coming up into fifth place. Blue coming out. Maybe able to hit Thomas. Uh, doesn't look like it. Xander getting third place. Luke getting fourth place. Not a very good race for the United Kingdom. One, two, five, six, seven, I believe, for the side of France. But uh, there we go. I, I like how people keep saying that I've blamed Luke's stream itself when I clearly stated it was a fluke and nothing to do with the stream. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can get the scores. I don't know why KP keeps calling, but yeah, we are seeing a one, two, five, six, seven, eleven coming out from France. Jazz not really able to do much for the team in that situation and we do see a uh, very visible very visible output there as uh that's gonna be a 27 to uh 46 point race i believe in favor of france and yeah that's uh Gonna be a 76 to 70 race, or 76 to 70 after two races. Hopefully we can get, uh, <laughs> hopefully we can get the one and only Kai Powell back in here. But literally everything is saying that he's dropping. So I, I don't know why I'm being told to host call when I'm hosting the stream. But the uh, what's Xander's IP? Not gonna be telling anyone Xander's IP. There is no DDoSing allowed, but uh, maybe KP can come back. We are only going to be able to watch Luke's stream. Just, I think, for some weird reason, uh, because we're using Twitch instead of the alternative that we probably should be using that's live streamer. Um, we have all the issue of the chats and stuff lagging, and it's not helping. But Cooper Cape coming out. Certainly a race that France can benefit from. And Luke with a... Luke with a bit of a fail at the start means that uh, France get even more good spots if they want them. Looks like Lua was going to wait for a box. It looks like it might have been a, a three people run, two people bag strat. Didn't work out for France right at the start though as we see Lackey and Thomas getting hit. Let's see, will Luke... Man yes, he does manage to get a box. It's going to be triple shrooms. Might... No, he's not going to be opting to uh, take a shortcut there. Might just want to hold them to uh, maybe take the waterfall or take a... Uh, yeah, that, that is uh, another shortcut that he can take. Or not really shortcut, but strat he can take. Uh, this is going to be the waterfall cut. I expect him to use a shroom here. Looks like he will be using a shroom. Might want to use his final shroom uh, where the shroomba normally is in the off-road coming up. I think we will be seeing that very, very soon. No, he's going to be opting to hold it for the uh, turn after, maybe. No, he's he's just holding. So, I guess he has another idea on where he can use his shroom to save some time. We do see Ace get hit by a fib. Not going to be the best of moments for him. Maybe he could have uh, swerved a bit, knowing that uh, second probably did have a backspam item, knowing that defensive items are... The most likely thing to pull in top two. But regardless, we're going to be seeing Luke third place. Probably going to be trying the waterfall given that he has managed to hold his shroom this much. I I'm still questioning his shroom hold. But I guess it's not cost him anything. It's kind of just playing it safe in case something does go massively wrong. But that's a good... That's a definite target shocking. Luke is having a drink right now. Going to be seeing Xander in a star, however. Nico is going to be overtaken by Luke. Not going to be bumped in any way, though. Pau is going to come in, erasing the box that Luke has just managed to obtain. Triple bananas may be enough to uh, perhaps block the normal line of the uh, waterfall ramp. But no, he's just going to be opting to uh, backspam two there. Maybe just aiming to get some of the France players out of the pack. Because clearly they are uh, the front of the mid-pack. 
a shroom last minute. He's going to be trying to use it just to hold on to his third place. I think he manages to do so. If he doesn't, then uh, Luna is the person to take his, four, uh, his third. Hopefully, though, we shall be able to see the uh, scores. Not sure if that was a UK shock or not. Yeah, that was actually a UK shock according to the chat. That was definitely a weird one. TSing Luke on the ramp, but... I, I mean, the thing that I'm thinking of is, like, if he didn't get TS, he could probably have got, like, a very good spot. Doesn't matter, though. Xander does get the uh, first place anyway. That is going to be a uh, 41 to 32 race. Bringing the UK back in the lead, I believe, and hopefully that's uh, going to be good. And I believe the UK now lead by three points. So let's edit that in. It's going to be 108 to 111. Hopefully uh, KP's constant attempts to call me finally work. Does this work? If not, why are you calling me and ruining the stream's lag? Hello. Uh, it works. Good. So, good. Because KP has literally been calling me every about 20 seconds. And it keeps opening Skype because of it. And he drops within two seconds of opening the call. But, uh... Looks How many like races have been played? Three races have been played. It looks like Toad's Factory is going to be the choice of the United Kingdom. Given the spots that they had, a 1-3-4, that should benefit them in terms of uh, getting maybe a draft from... Like uh, Grumble Volcano instead. Grumble Volcano will be the track choice. France's pick, a bit better for them given their spots. I guess they can uh, pull the shrooms, hope to uh, take the respawn, maybe even take the rock cop on the first lap. But uh, we are going to be starting off. Luke managing to get a uh, second place box. Going to be a single red. Does manage to lag through Lua's back spam and get the draft. Good be draft able to, uh, by Luke. He's going to go wide maybe to try pulling a second place box for a shroom. But not going to work out. Goes for the red shell and... Does not connect. Yeah. I'm going to be seeing... Uh, both Lua and Luke with the greens. Lua's going to throw his. Not managed to connect with Luke, at least. But uh, France are in decent spots. And he does manage Lua to slag. trails <laughs> Luke in midair. And uh, Luke's single shroom might be able to... Okay, Lua, that's a good back spam. And Luke does have to panic shroom just to uh, try and keep up with the top few. And there is a Powell. You may not be able to see it, but the Powell has come in. I don't think it target powered. It anyone. slowed him down though. I believe Cosmos has been lapped the uh, Daisy, but oh, this is no overlap. I think so. Okay. That that was what I was told earlier when I made a comment that it was the UK shock. I was told obviously because Cosmos had been lapped. So no overlap probably. A shroom for Luke gonna be okay if he can maybe dodge in the cut given that. Uh, Jazz, not back, uh, not lapped yet. Lackey is small as well. So, good Did for him. No, there's oh, a blue! He dodges the blue. That's going to be good right now, but if people take the shortcut and UK don't have the shock, this could be real. Oh, this could be quite bad. Ah! <laughs> okay. Power, that is very bad. For That's, Luke. I'm not sure if that was a target power, if that was just him. Uh, yeah, he could have just failed it. He, he could have certainly... That's quite a known thing to do if you're going too fast on those ramps is to miss the platform. It's like and just UK straight. is in top three. This is very good for them. And does not get Zoan on the line. No connect there, but top three. I feel three. like he should have just went for a third instead of trying to get Zoan at the line. I mean... It's, if he gets lagged, that'd be bad. Yeah, if he gets lagged, then that could be a questionable play, especially if the war is very close, but... So far, looks like the UK having the best of the few races that have been played. Potential for a... Potential for a bit of a lead, given the 1, 2, 3 
Uh, yep, six, that is the eight. top three. That's going to be uh, 47... 48 to 25, I believe. And uh, let me quickly put that into the calculator to make sure I'm not getting numbers wrong. That's going to be 133 to 159. So leading by 26, the United Kingdom. Good stuff by the UK. I mean, it looks a bit closer with the 26, but you see the individuals and the UK were quite a few of the top spots there. It was mm -hmm. certainly not as... It, it was close, but at the same time, the UK did definitely deserve that win of the uh, GP. Yeah, especially with Luke's, like, really short notice blue dodge. Like, I wouldn't have dodged that. I mean, I guess... It may have just... It may have been a call by a UK member. Um, it it probably wasn't, but if it was a call by a UK member to try and make it so that they could chain, because I think it was around the set where the blue was thrown, around the first set, so it could have been a chain in order to uh, try getting shrooms to try taking cut. If it was, then very smart play on the part of UK, knowing that Luke did have the shroom to take the uh, blue. It's like we're going on 100cc. Was The, the last GP was one uh, mirror, right? Uh, yes. Yes. No be... Coconut Mall. No, we are going to be seeing Peach Gardens come out from the United Kingdom. Totes Factory coming out from uh, Team France. Um, I believe France have quite a few of the top spots in the room, mainly because of uh, Ace didn't know he was playing until 12th. So, uh, probably didn't help him. Come on, you can start voting. You can start. There we there go. There we go. I'm not sure why Jazz is picking random. That, if Jazz's randoms get picked and they end up being, I, like, terrible tracks, that could be questionable. But. Looks like they're going to Peach Gardens. What are their spots? Um, I know they've got a few of the middle spots. I don't think they've got many of the top spots, though, because France okay. are room hosts. Let's and see if they can pull, like, uh, yeah, maybe France. a set of triples, uh, maybe a golden. Looks as if a few of the players have already managed to pull a few shrooms. We do see a few people near the back. Lunar is trying to break right now. France in 2-3. That is a good pull! For Luke in fourth place, triple That is shrooms. very good. He needs to avoid all the back spam from two three right now. Oh, he, okay, he's going to be <laughs> using that. Probably a smart play given yeah. that uh, he can just use one shroom per lap. But uh, hopefully there are no pals or shocks coming in. Yeah. Then I believe we see Jazz getting lapped on oh. the. Ooh, he gets sniped, Ooh, and he does can spam he has, both. He, he shouldn't have spam both. No, he one maybe, but not yeah. both. And Jazz... I feel like that was just impulse, and that could cost him, because he's not getting a shroom here. He gets a red, though. Oh, Lackey dodges it. As we see on the minimap, Jazz was overlapped in the little peace symbol section, and uh, Cosmos not lapped yet. This could be good for France's race in terms of maybe getting a lap three dodge through the shortcut, but Luke with a shroom in fourth may be able to take advantage of it. No, nope, he's going to be having to use that to... Uh, not slow down too much after being backspanned by Lackey. Hopefully he can hold off his uh, fourth place, stop all of these reds and other things that are coming for him. Lackey trying to schlag. He does get him. Got him. Finally. That was a good play by Lackey. And uh, seventh place, he could manage to maybe dodge with France if France do have things to take the cut. But yeah, we do see... Deliberate slowdowns. It looks as if UK did predict that uh, France may have had the short, the shock for the shortcut, but Jake Stevens not getting fortunate to dodge there. And let's see what Luke can do. There get is a bombed. bomb. Luke, oh, he almost got hit by the chain chomp right there. Luke can it? get bombed, and uh, Jake Stevens is going to pass him. We do see a few of the UK members in decent spots. We do see, however, Jazz. I'm not sure that's the cleverest out of the way, but. 
We'll, we'll call that out of the way for the sake of no overlap from Jazz. But uh, we are going to be seeing Zoan pass Luke and Jake on the line. Hopefully, um, France may be able to come back into it a little bit. But given the other spots we saw, I think the UK had a few decent spots up there to maybe make it an even race. Yeah, let's see what spots they got. Yep, they are going to be getting a 1, 5, 6. That's not going to be the best of races for them, but it is at least going to be able to hold off uh, 35 to 38. So, yeah, like we said, it wasn't enough to give UK a winning race, but it's... Uh, Lunar cushions the blow. It does, yeah. And we're going to be seeing a uh, 171 to 194. Yep, yeah, 171 to 194. I have just checked on my Google Sheets. Did KP die? I Did think so. So is it just me and you now? I would I, I think it must be because we've asked KP and he has tried calling so much. But when he was able to actually stay in a call, he couldn't get his screen share working. And now he can't even get in a call. So I, I'd, I'd probably change the bottom left then. Yeah. Let's uh, get rid of... KP until he can get into the call. I'm not sure why his internet's decided that now was the time to play up, but I, I guess it's his time and we did have people in backup, so we can't have a go at him. But uh, gonna be now seeing, we're seeing Coconut Mall. Going to be seeing a few mixed picks. We're going to be seeing Mushroom Gorge come out from all of UK, but Coconut Mall and Dry Dry Ruins mixed between France. But, uh, going to be Coconut Mall. This track we normally see United Kingdom do well at. We do have quite if, a few people that... France's middle spots can take all the boxes. UK won't get anything. Okay, they got, they got some. A single shroom isn't really yeah, the most it's not optimal. That powerful. Especially when Luke is probably the person you'd expect to be running this track if he could Jake get Jake is going through the cut, so they, they now have, uh, top Top three. three. And uh, Xander redded one of France for the shortcut, so that's good for them. I am hoping that Jazz doesn't risk it, because um, this is a section where if the baggers risk it, they can get lapped. Looks like uh, Jazz tried to get the French bagger, didn't manage, but yeah. neither of them did get lapped there. That is kind of the common place for people to get lapped, is just as the like first lap comes to a close people just trying to stay as close to the pack as possible and failing and getting lapped but what was luke doing there luke, it, yeah luke should have just used the shroom he waited too long to use it and he got redded i think the issue there was just the fact that he clipped the wall and he got an awkward bounce i'm not sure his small delay really was too helpful but hitting the wall made it worse it made it much worse because yeah. it stopped him to zero instead of allowing him to maybe get the shroom and maybe clip the walls for the red and dodge but mm -hmm. we are going to be seeing luke in fourth place with his red shell nico is going, and, he's going yeah, to he's going for nico no he's going for luna he, well nico died nico died we we've got to assume that nico was hit by a red but on our screens luna clearly was but yeah we're going to be seeing top two, Jake Stevens and uh, Luke. Cosmos is very close to getting lapped. I would wonder if they think Cosmos has the shock, if Jazz is going to try trolling him. That is exactly what Jazz is going to try doing. Doesn't look like it's worked out too well. Luke, we do see cheering there, the funky. So he must have hit someone with some backspam. I can't personally remember uh, where he would have backspammed or who he could have hit, but... Jazz is finally going to be lapped and not going to affect the top two at least. But, so, uh, UK getting top two. It looks like France, France is getting, getting all three, the four. other spots. Yeah, there's Lackey and so on. So I think they got top two and then France got literally the five spots below them. Yeah. So that would be...
top two, eight, nine, ten, eleven? It should be. No, it top two, isn't. eight, no, top two, six, eight, nine, twelve. Let's let me do the math on that one as we see 33, 37, 40, 40 to 33 in favor of the United Kingdom. Not sure how they've managed to pull that, but um, sure. What, sure, why not, in the words of uh, some other people that we once knew. Um, 40 to 33 is going to give the United Kingdom a 30-point lead after the halfway mark there. It's going to be 204 to 234. Uh, plus do plus have 30 to... lead by UK, pretty solid. It's certainly... Something that if the UK do get a few of those races, they could get enough of a lead. But we did see in the last match, Nordic pretty much break a lead yeah. that was even bigger than 30. Yeah. You know, they were going into the final GP looking like they'd lose. And suddenly they brought it back and Canada couldn't do enough to hold on. Yeah. I think one of the biggest uh, factors with that match was the fact that Maple Tree Way got picked instead of Sherby. I feel like if Sherby got picked, Nordic would have been in trouble. I would agree, but we are going to be seeing a uh, Jungle, Parkway Jungle Parkway on 100, so it's not going to be as hard for the funky users. I mean, how many Daisy users are there in this room? I'm not sure Zoan's on Daisy at the minute when... I don't think he is. So no, normally... It's just the bagger. Yeah, sometimes you see... Zoan played Daisy. Uh, this time, clearly not the occasion, but it's it's a bit of a weird choice if this was France's, because France we always used to imagine were the Daisy users, but yeah. for some weird reason they haven't used Daisy as much in the World Cup, despite the fact that they were quite literally famous for having most of the popular Daisy users back a few years ago. But uh, top two, going to be seeing Luke uh, have a good Xander communication. Xander gets blued and he slows down so he doesn't get caught in the blast radius. Maybe we're going to, yeah, we're going to see a few people take the shortcut. Luna for UK taking it with uh, Lua and Thomas, I believe, for Team Looks France. Looks like Luke is going to go for the snipe off the wall. He might go for it, but he has also got a pow. So okay, so maybe after the cannon. He might try... Target powing on the final turn of the lap if he doesn't want to hold it for lap three. But, uh. Yeah, he just threw that green away, so. Yeah. I think he's gonna use the power for the cave, like you said. A backspam banana on Luke by zone. Good play not to panic spam a pow, because we have seen a few panic spams from Luke so far. Mm -hmm. uh, this track, I believe, was. Quite known last World Cup for being there the one where Luke team on his butt. Uh, okay, the star has his escaped split. his butt. Yeah. And uh, Lua is going to be able to backspam Luke, I believe. Lua's been getting Luke with a lot of bananas, I've seen. Is Luke still holding the pal. I, I would like I to think point he's doing that it out. after cannon. Maybe. Well, that's not happening as we well, do that's see. That's not happening at all. Hey, yeah. Uh, I think shock coming out. If France are all in top spots. This is going to be very good for them. Looks like France are six, uh, five, six, there, four as well from what I think I see. I think I see Lua. But uh, Luke is going to end up in the off-road and does have to avoid Thomas's attempts to uh, swerve. Yeah. It's weird because we are seeing quite a few of each team in the lower spots. So looks like UK do have the uh, nine, bottom of the spot. Eight, nine, so. ten right now bad for UK. A shock is all they need though, but it does look as if both baggers got yeah, lapped. Yeah. Uh, Thomas got beat, and it looks like... Someone was holding the blue. Yeah. I'd like to point that one out. Oh, dear. I mean, maybe they could have called the blue a bit quicker, and it might have got someone a chain given the pack, but... Sure, why not? But uh, given that the blue wasn't used, we could assume that it could be... Yeah, that's going to be Ooh, top, top two. Top two from UK. I did not see that coming. And that's going to be a uh, 37, 40, 41 to 
32 race. UK's lead becoming uh, 39 points. What I think happened was UK caught France in the cannon. Or something like that. I... I'm just a bit confused with the shock and... I, I would have assumed that uh, if it was a French shock, then... France would have actually dodged. So I, it's clearly maybe a UK it was a UK shot, shot and France caught UK. Th the big question though is why would Luke not use the pal? Yeah, why didn't he use his uh, the pal? Because surely he could have target paled them, and then the shot could have came in, mm -hmm. and he they could have target paled on the spiral. Yeah, and he could have chained an item, and that that could have been even better of a race, but. I, I guess in hindsight, people think people think and see things like what they could have done. I'm sure in the spur of the moment, Luke probably wasn't thinking, you know, how to use the PAL. He was more probably thinking, you know, what if the PAL accidentally targets one of my team? Yeah, so, that's probably what he was thinking. He didn't go for the risk. Didn't want to go for the risk given that they'd had the top spots. But uh, Raceway, certainly not a... Uh, front running track yeah normally at least we have seen a few front runs but normally it's the kind of track where you can dodge up get a golden and uh that's good games when Trying it comes to... to being in the spur of the moment i feel like the what separates the average players from the, the good players is like the good players will take advantage of the correct play even when they have the pressure of the moment and good play by jazz i believe he does manage to hit cosmos which means cosmos Cosmos is lapped before he can even get a box. It looks so, like Luke gets hit on the head with a banana. Lewin's been hitting Luke with so many bananas. I, I can't even count it. I'd, I'd like to go back for a moment about the fact that Jazz did manage to get Cosmos before the 30 second mark before a box. Yeah, so that is... it's not as if Cosmos can be holding shock, which is a very good play by Jazz. Yeah, that's... It's something most people wouldn't think of, but it it was a very, very lucky, good call. We are going to be seeing Luke, however, He's wait for the, for the blue. blue. Uh, Lackey Is doesn't the ground get star hit. still there? No, it isn't. No. Is Cosmos Luke out of the way of the, the races? And he doesn't get it. Is he going to... I'd go for the red show. It doesn't look like he has defense. Yeah, the red is yep. going to be thrown. There is a blue for Jake Stevens as we do see him get hit. I still question if that map shows that Cosmos has used his five seconds to get out the way or not, but yeah, that he's clearly on the road in my view. But oh, Jazz is quite literally sat right next to Cosmos, clearly trying to just troll. Like, look at me, I'm actually still racing. But yeah, he's going forwards now. Doesn't want to get lapped, so maybe Jazz does have yeah, the Cosmos shock. is in the uh, dirt. Okay, that's that's enough. On oh, the mini map, another it's not banana as on Luke's head. We only be seeing all of France behind him as well. So unless Nico like on, Nico on the line, Nico the cut, not on the line. On the line Nico is hit on the line. Maybe I'm not too sure. There was a tiny bit of delay. I did I, see Nico get hit. I'm not sure if it was on the line or not. We're gonna have to I, see. I think it was after the line. It was I, certainly close. If it was before the line, then Luke has quite literally saved the UK's bacon well, for that race. Look at uh, his Funky Kong. It's batting his chest, so maybe he did get first. Yes, he did, and Nico Oh my god, to that is a very, very good snipe on Luke's part, right at the line. But 31... France does get two, three, four, five. That would have been detrimental to yeah, UK it's, if it's gonna it be would have got first. 41 to 32 in favor of uh, the. French team. So, cancelling out the race we'd just seen, eight races in, we are still 30 points between. So, not a not a breakaway like some of us were mm -hmm. saying, like, let's not have that happen. We all wanted this to be a close war, and we're a close getting... war is what we're getting. But yeah, shout out to Luke. That was an insane, insanely good snipe on the line. France would have definitely taken over if, uh, well, got really close to taking over if uh, they would have got first. They certainly would have, because it would have been a 
devastating race, especially if uh, Luke made any form of like mistake on the line and France got yeah. like top three or top four. Mm -hmm. Because it's amazing by, just how much if getting he, first cushions you. If he threw the green and someone readied him on the line or something, that could have been like top four for France, but very good mm -hmm. play for Luke. Yeah, that was that was hot. <laughs> staff I wouldn't be surprised if that gets uploaded Cup. as a highlight. I'm looking at staff okay. chat for World Cup. We're going to another 100cc GP, so we're not going to be seeing any gap hops or any uh, any shroomless shortcuts based on uh, what tracks have been being picked lately, like MG and TF. We're going to TF on 100cc. Um, okay, I'm actually seeing uh, the current referee, uh, or the standing referee, because I'm casting, has got a list of potential penalties. For no overlap? Or repick? Or... Um, for no overlap. No overlap? Okay. The rule What's set the... is causing an issue. Um, I'll, we'll have to see after. What race was it? Four of them. Apparently. What was the most recent one? Uh, hitting a box while he was getting out of the way. On uh, Raceway. Raceway? Okay. Because he was hit at the box set. I mean, we'll have to judge them after. If the racers were close to the box that he took, then... Well, actually, he's not supposed to hit a box in general, so... The rule set says if it's out of the way of the players and he's close to getting overlapped, he's allowed to take it. So long as it's not in the line of players. Ah. Uh, Which but... is why I didn't get penalized in CSL that week where uh, Sabi did for falling off while I hit the wide box on MG. But uh, TF... He wasn't already overlapped. He was just close to being in. I'm, I'm not sure if he was already or not, but I'm sure lag can be put in place because it was literally that close. But yeah. we do see Luke holding a star. a star. I think he's going to hold it to lap uh, three. Might predict an obvious shock if they don't have it. If they do, then uh, that could be even better for them. If they predict, it's not going to be right now. It's going to be in about a second. Yep, there we go. That's a bam shock dodge yep. for Luke. And it looks like Luke is going to be uh, taking over first. And we see UK in top two. I don't know who's in third. From what I think UK is in third. He is not backspamming anything. It may be Xander from what we saw literally where the shock happened. Mm -hmm. Unless UK... Happened to be no, it's lunar. In fact, it's lunar. Uh, okay, so he throws the green forward, so he, the pow doesn't. And we're hit seeing him. Xander in maybe like fourth? fifth or sixth. So even better for the United Kingdom team. This could be the match that, or this could be the race they needed to pull away. Yeah, I think this is going to be the race. This is going to be the definitive race from what we see. And thank you to the nearly ninety viewers as we watch a top three five. 10-11 coming out from the United Kingdom. That is going to be a 44... 47 to 26 race, I believe. So, so that would be 21? Yeah, that's going to be a 21, which means France are down 51. UK definitely starting to pulling... Definitely starting to pull away. Very good race for them. It was certainly a very good race and hopefully we can see either France come back or UK dominate a bit more. I know we said that it was very important for the group stages that... I think we see a disconnection. Ah, who's the seed is the main question. Do we know? Is there a reset for it is another question. Is this race three? Race two? Uh, that would have been race... One? 
one, yeah, that would have been the Okay, so this race. is race two. They should probably use the reset. Yes, okay, they are using the reset. Is that the first reset of the war? It is, yeah. So, three races to go, uh, lead by 51. UK are sitting, sitting pretty here, for the most part. I mean, 51, it's not unbeatable. It's not. But, but. The, the thing, maybe France wants to get like a top five in room or something and they want to pray to get a running track. That's, that's one of the only ways I see France getting back in unless they get lucky and pull a dodge. I haven't seen too many France shots, maybe because of the overlap, but um, mm -hmm. I, I think out of the two baggers, we've seen Jazz do better, which is a bit strange given that we always look at Jazz and go, like, he's not as experienced as some of the other top baggers. Mm -hmm. And despite the fact that Jazz's highest division he's played in, I believe, is Division 3 and Cosmos has been a very top tier bagger for quite a few years now in D2 currently. Uh, mm -hmm. Jazz still proving that bagging, you don't have to be in a top division to be a good bagger. Yeah, you don't. Hopefully, though, uh, this room does go up soon. I believe in about an hour's time there will be an MK8 match, but um, no confirmation on that yet. This is, again... The uh, Group X table, like we were saying a little bit earlier, um, this match um, is pretty much going to decide point differential for the United Kingdom and France. Mm -hmm. Because whatever team wins is going to end up, of course, getting the win advantage. But it means that they have an advantage over Germany for point differential. And if Germany lose a match, then... It could all be decided by the sake of a point differential at the top. If France go 202 and the top two teams go 301, for example. But uh, let's see if there's any progress on the room. Doesn't look like it. We will uh, keep the Group X table back up then, just in case people are looking at the scores still. Uh, plus, it's better filler than looking at Xander's me for 10 minutes. Just randomly have the uh, ground earthquake looking effect. But just, he's just a player, me. He's just a player, me. Um, I do see a comment saying reset should be banned. You've got to realize, though, that this is World Cup. It's not a situation where we, sh we should really be banning the opportunity to get your players back. We have put limits on it, of course, because it is ridiculous. If you have a player that DCs literally every race, then mm -hmm. that's a bit too far. But in a case where someone gets unlucky, especially when the servers... I, I know some people go, the servers are fine, but some people's internets aren't as fond of the servers as others. Some yeah. people get disc errors. Uh, disc errors on ISOs as well, for some weird reason. You can get a you can get a disc error just from using a Wi-Fi repeater. It's so weird. You can. It's it's weird, but because there's such an opportunity where someone can get unlucky and does need a reset, um, we do allow, I believe, two resets is the maximum. But that's that's for just in case people are wondering why we're having to reset. Not not just for the comment that I think was sarcastic saying resets should be banned, but. Uh, but yeah, the, the limit is two. The limit is two, so... CSL shares the same limit. Good. This... I'm hoping that these penalties don't come into play, because it, from the list I've seen, and I will read out the list, it looks as if it could have been uh, all against Cosmos. That sounds... Uh... <laughs> like I know we say Cosmos has been the one that's been lapped more, so... Of course, Cosmos is more likely to get a penalty, but 
He's got a moving penalty on KC to look at. A uh, penalty on, apparently, Grumble Volcano Bumper. I don't understand what the notes really mean, but I'm sure CJ knows what he means when he puts maybe one penalty on Grumble Volcano Bump Off. Need to look at it. Um, we will probably have to look at all of them because, of course, we can't just go, oh, yes, we'll take this referee's word for it. Mm -hmm. when he's a stand-in referee for the match, especially. So, he's keeping a close eye. He's doing really well if he has found potential penalties like this, but there is a chance that they're all, like, nothing. Mm -hmm. Because I believe there is still a clause in the rule set, much like CSL, where if the issue with the no overlap doesn't cause an effect on the race, then uh, it's worth zero. Mm-hmm. Is the room any closer to being up? No, that's... that. Okay, it is closer to being up. I do apologise. Um, does Ace need condies is a question. I, I think it was agreed that, like, council members who don't do condies in World Cup shouldn't be penalised. Well, Stevens told Killua first week that he had to do condies. Mm, then, then Ace should do them. Um, maybe he's doing it with CJ. We can't really guarantee that he's not done it at all because he is taking his time to join the room so we can kind of assume that he is doing condies. Because if he wasn't taking his time to join the room and he was joined in like second, I'd say, yeah, that's probably him do not doing condies. But mm -hmm. it looks like he'll get 11th or 12th in the room. So... Oh, we are going to be seeing my need some, to uh, reload the stream. Some buffer. Yeah, hopefully that's not a major issue. Maybe that's just Luke's stream actually going down. It uh, might be. No, Luke's stream no, is it's still, still alive. No, it's not. No, it's dead. We do apologize. That is not my fault for the first time tonight. Not my fault on a stream going down. Woo! Whoa. During the reset period, his uh, his offline picture is true. They're not doing shit today. It is, however, swear words, so we do try and not show it if we can. Exactly. We are trying to make it as family-friendly as possible, given that, of course, Mario Kart is a game where people of all ages play, and clearly, you don't want to go onto a stream just to see swear words all over for like the whole thing yeah you don't i mean hopefully we're doing good in terms of making it suitable for people i mean given that we had nearly 90 people earlier and i think right now we have maybe nearly 80 i will have to refresh to find that exact number out but we do certainly have quite a few people for the group stages given that the uh, group stages normally aren't the most hype matches of all time. Um, Canada versus NDC was very hype. It was very hype, but this match has gotten pretty much the same amount of viewers. And uh, it's quite good. And it does look as if we will be getting Luke's stream back, so I will reload so that we can get the cropping right on that. Mm -hmm. Because he has the message saying, I'm not online, but you can watch at this point. And... That ruins the cropping when you have a preset. So, there we go. That should be Luke's stream back in and action. And we are back. Looks like there's... Is that 9 in the room? Or 11? 11. 11. We see 11 in the room. The last one is Ace, so very clearly he's done Condies. But, uh... Let's see if anything's going on in the chats that is some... Oh, God. I have kind of half broke my chair. That's that's not gone well for me. But... Ah, we do... Yeah, there, there's a bit, of, a bit of confusion. Some people don't know the difference between the EU and Europe. I am having someone literally send us a quote saying, What continent is the UK in now? Um... <laughs> I'd, I'd like to stress this. The vote was to leave the European Union 
which not is a group of the European continent. It's it's a group of I believe twenty eight countries now twenty seven if we do leave, um, that all kind of like financially support each other, go by the same kind of rules and regulations, and you have to pay kind of fees. And I believe a lot of the UK debate was that we wanted to run our own country and that we didn't find the fees kind of worth the money when we were contributing some of the highest amounts in the EU but uh, that's that's the EU debate and uh, I believe it was 51.9% of people voted to leave so given that it's a referendum it doesn't have to be followed so that that's me clearing up the EU referendum for people that don't know What's happened over in the United Kingdom today? Well, technically last night, but... We have just seen... Oh, dear. Have I just seen a tier list? No, okay. That's that's not something to look at. A tier list? I've seen someone... <laughs> yeah, let's not. Yeah, Chroma just sent a uh, paste bin in the... World Cup stream chat, and it is literally just 15 players. I'm not sure if that's actually in a list, but uh, yeah, I, I do apologize that I did have to explain the referendum, but I have seen quite a few people get confused between Europe and the EU. The UK isn't just in no continent at all now. Just make, make that obvious enough. Oh, it looks as if Luke will be showing up there. We did have a black screen or a darkened screen indicating he wasn't going near his controller, but clearly... I went to get a snack or something. He's <laughs> yeah. like, screw this. He's like, screw this. Ace is going to take 15 years with his condies. Let's see if... Uh... I don't think he's asked me to get help for uh, doing his condies. I did have to show the condies on stream earlier on just to prove when I was like, yeah, I can see what you're doing, that I wasn't just looking at a blank screen. But No, I, I always get a bit worried if someone's on their stream going, yeah, I, c I confirm your condies or... Like, you just say, someone just says, yes, I approve, when they don't actually have to. Especially when I'm in the same team as Ace. So, just just wanted to make sure there was no, like, absolute bias. But, looks like Ace has had his condies done. Not sure who by, I'd presume, CJ, given that he has been the stand-in, but... Uh, Now we wait for room stability. Considering how long it took Ace, it was probably on uh, poor or average. Let's see if we can get Jake Stevens' stream just for a minute or two in case it's decided to allow me to use two streams. No, I can happily tell you the frame rate is going to drop the second we put <laughs> Jake Stevens there. No, it might not. Is there another uh, match for MKWE today, or is this not the last? Not today. This is going to be the last one, but I believe we should. Uh, I think we have four matches tomorrow to cast. Yeah. And again, we might put a picture up of. The matches, but I believe MK8 have two or three matches left after this one, so there's always the off chance that uh, they may be casting on MKB1 this stream, of course. Um, remember, we do have MK Boards 2. If there are two games going on at the same time and we can get both casted, then we do use that. I'm not sure people are fully aware of the fact that we do have multiple streams, but MK Boards 2 is something that you may want to go follow if you're not aware of that. 
But uh, we yeah. will finally see a start. I don't think anyone got kicked there. So. Yeah, I didn't see any DCs. I think we're in good shape. I may and... just slow down. I'm, yeah, I'm going to pause Jake Stevens's and just go for frame rate because for some weird reason... It's, it's Let's weird. see if we can get away from 100cc this time. Hopefully we can. Um, yep, mirror. We're going that's, to mirror mode. All that's right, good that's... enough. But uh, remember, this game or this match isn't to decide who's getting eliminated. This is to decide one of the potential contenders for the uh, top spot. Yeah. Because whoever loses this is unlikely to get the top spot unless literally every team manages to lose to one opponent. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I think that's quite a far Going fetch Moonview thing. Moonview Highway on mirror mode. Moonview Highway on mirror mode. Normally a bit of a track where the top few can sometimes get a bit of a lead and hold it due to how much the pack fails with uh, lag bumps, lag bombs things mm -hmm. like that hopefully it can benefit france and we can see a close end but luke is going to try getting the draft off of first place doesn't manage nico is going a bit slow probably through lag but uh could we is see luke again, yeah. him again? He yes he is again. and uh laggy bomb car there does in fact hit luke Gonna be seeing lower spots for a couple of the UK members. Yeah, I think they're at eight, nine, ten right now. Luke pulls a star on eighth. Could be good so long as uh, none of the baggers get lapped. I think we can see both baggers very close to the pack. Very so... close, but I think one of them used a bill. Yeah, that might be Cosmos because it looks like an anime yeah. weeaboo kind of me. Sorry for the derogatory term, but it does look like an anime me. Um, I think Jazz has been... No, apparently not lap. The minimap shows just how close it is. It's so close. It's close enough where on someone else's perspective he could have been lapped. So... Yeah. Oh, it might have been lapped here. No, that's lag again. Jeez. Oh, God. Luke holding his star, so maybe Jazz does have the I, shock. Looks like he's in a chain for set. He's training for a set, and let's see if there's a shock. Not gonna not be. getting a shock, but triple reds. This is good. Good so long as no laggy Thomas bomb Thomas is cars. down. Thomas is certainly down, but now Luke has to go for Luke. And he's bumped off! That oh. is unfortunate for the side of Luke. I could and not see that due to some frame lag, but that sucks for Luke. I believe Luna as well may have uh, had a bit of a problem there, but... He did France manage is to get away. kind of in the back, so UK could be in pretty high spots right now. We do Thomas see... uses a star. I think from the minimap, we see that uh, Cosmos was overlapped quicker than Jazz again. Uh, Jazz did get lapped, but Jazz is out of the way, and we can see Cosmos quite literally in the middle. Maybe he's right after like the uh, little structural pillar thing in the... Oh, no, not the structural pillar. Yeah, the structural pillar for the toll booth, maybe. But uh, regardless, Jazz will be getting the one point for the race because no one is going to be able to move. And confirmation on who Ace did his conditionals with. It was Jake Stevens. So we can confirm he did do them. Hey! 30, oh, you. 30 seconds seems to be a bit long. There is a problem here, I believe. We have seen a full lap completed. I, I, I don't want my cat puking on my we've, we've seen a full lap completed by the AI. And it's still not done. It's still not done. A full lap by the AI, I think, is about 50 seconds. So, surely 30 seconds have passed. There we go. That's confirmation that 30 seconds have indeed Two, passed. Two, three, four, six for UK. So, a That's going to be a winning race. race. It's going to be a winning race by one, though, maybe. Let me quickly 
double check my math. Uh, no, that's not a winning race by one. I do apologize. Three? 38 to 35, 35. yeah. So three. winning race by three. Let me quickly make sure I can do my math. So I don't want to put the wrong numbers in and then get told off. Because I do actually have both of my computers set up so I can have side by side. It looks like a DC did happen through the room, so that's going to be a second reset. Apologies about the fact that the resets have come in, like, right near the end of the war. This... 392. Yeah, this, this war could easily have been over by now, but unfortunately, uh, not... Not quite. Um, uh, I think some of the French players have got to the point where they are either salting or sarcasming. And uh, they're, they're saying minus 200 for UK for Luke's apparent cheats. Clearly a, <laughs> clearly a jokey comment there. But uh, they also said that they're losing to clowns. So I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's quite following the joke. Uh, Max, <laughs> frags it. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. Uh, every... The memes about the e about the UK leaving the EU can stop. <laughs> they they can if people want to stop them. We have had politics with Stunky for long enough. Don't forget, you've also had geography. <laughs> Okay, and uh, that's not going to affect us, but that will affect registration admins, something that I've just been told that uh, Tommy has been unbanned, so congratulations to him. He gets a shout out on stream for being unbanned. Maybe he can uh, play CSL now. Custom server league. I'm not sure if he'd have tried signing up under Latin America, because I believe he may or may not have the same kind of claim as Edison did with having uh, one relative from Latin America, but I, I can't confirm that, but either way, it's been banned a bit, or unbanned a bit late for that, and we will see him at least maybe play uh, CSL. I'm not sure if we will have CSL casts. Uh, through the World Cup, given that we have got four streams already tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's let's quickly run through some of the matches we know will be happening. If I've got... I can just search ref schedule and it'll come up on my history. There we go. Um, so, in terms of the June the 25th, I'm sure we'll put another graphic up on the MK Boards Twitter if we... Uh, if we need to, but... Uh, it's uh, a case of us having Australia versus Latin America at 9.30 a.m. EDT. Uh, Germany versus France. Another one of the deciding matches of this group. 12.30 uh, p.m. EDT. Uh, Nordic versus USA. A very important match for Group Y because both teams are flawless currently. That's 2.50 p.m. EDT. And then a uh, few hours in advance, we've got uh, Latin America playing Canada. And that's going to be at 6 p.m. EDT. So, nice break between that match. But, uh, yeah, quite a few matches to cast. Not sure if we'll be able to get a CSL one involved, but hopefully. Yeah. Thinking about that, that might affect some of the CSL match schedules, uh, given that USA are playing mm -hmm. at CSL match time. And NBC. And you could argue Germany versus France might run into the uh, original match, but uh, yeah, we are seeing Luke finally joining a friend. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> Hopefully, we can see the final two races out, and I'm not sure some people will be seeing uh, France get back into it, but again, like we say, this could be down to point differential to decide the difference between second and third, and even second and third makes a difference in who you play, I believe. Because, uh, let me see if I can get the little tournament picture up for myself at least. Probably tournament format MKW. 
Um, the third team plays the sixth team, and the fourth team plays the... Okay, this is weird. Sorry, this is when you have to put it into perspective. Out of the six teams that do qualify, of course, three from each group, um, the third ranked team out of the top six get to play the bottom team of the top six. And the uh, fourth ranked team get to play the fifth. So if the United Kingdom, for example, lose to Germany and they get second in the group, they're still going to end up ranking to perhaps play a weaker side. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's going to run, but we've got to realise that it does have somewhat of an effect and I will have to reload Luke's stream. I'm not sure if it's gone down again or not. Hoping it's not. Um, says it's live. Live doesn't mean a thing when it's just a buffering symbol. Mm -hmm. Live. Yes, we are. Okay, good. We're still live. Looks as if it may may have been our side, may not have been, given that uh, we are back. But hopefully no lag. Two races to go. Waiting for room stability. Two vital races for France's position in the World Cup. What's the uh, deficit right now for them? Um, currently, it looks uh, this kind of... No, it doesn't look like stream issues. I do apologize. It looks is like it the group six, table... Is it, six, is it 64? The deficit for this match is 64, I believe. But the mm. deficit, that would leave them in in the uh, actual point differential wouldn't be that much. Uh, the UK would probably have to get a few more very big winning races to really affect the point differential too much. But this is the thing, like... Whatever teams lose now out of the top three mm -hmm. have got to uh, cause quite a lot of effect. But, uh, oh, okay. I'm not going to comment on the uh, specific Ow. users we have seen in the Ow. chat very recently. Oh. Discuss, this is done. discuss done. screen sharing that we would have another method but this has all had to be done last minute kind of because we didn't know if i was going to be able to host the stream and we right. didn't have stuff like live streamer set up but hopefully we will be able to get live streamer set up for a few of the other deciding matches because yeah, spe speaking of live streamer would, would you be able to test it today because i'm able to we might be able to i'm not too sure if we can uh get the time because I have to apparently or I'm scheduled to help the MK8 side if they don't get a host. Alright. And it's already 9.30 and I've not had dinner. So we'll, we'll see. In that case I might go to the beach. I don't know. The war apparently broke according to Ace. Hopefully the war doesn't break for too much longer. We'll make it unbroken. Maybe, maybe make it unbroken. Maybe just play it anyway. But, uh... It's, it is a shame when we have... Like, this match quite literally started nearly an hour and a half ago. And this is why when they did scheduling and I saw that they'd put 90 minute gaps between the matches, I said, No. <laughs> I said, that's still a risk. Because you can get unlucky and have this kind of thing where... The stability doesn't change for some time or where Weemfy just doesn't like the room and keeps DCing or the people's internet themselves keep having issues. But uh, we saw the room crash pretty much on Moonview and hopefully that's not the case anywhere else. People could be in before the match time. That is a thing, but again, it's a case of uh, the match it, time is the specified room opening time. Since for the room started teams. that quickly, I feel like the room stability was pretty high, so I think we're in good shape. Um, 
Yeah, that should help us in terms of not having another reset. But, uh, yeah, we should try getting people in the room before match time, but it's a case where you have to have the teams actually show up earlier than match time. So and do their conditionals early. And do their conditionals early, which when the only referees... 150 cc, finally. We are, and I thought I'd have to reset the stream. Doesn't look like it. We are going to escape without having a buffer. But, uh... Luke taking a bit of time to pick a track. If UK can just win this race, they have the war. They do, yes. Not even just win. If they can uh, even come close and lose by like three, I think they can still win the war. Yeah. Guaranteed. Because the top six is worth 43. And we're seeing Dry Dry Ruins. We are seeing Dry Dry Ruins. Hopefully, uh, I, I would assume it's a lot of French people near the front again. So maybe they'll be able to make a bit of an advantage off of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, looks as if uh, Lua and Xander do get the boxes. So Luke isn't getting a thing. Luke has a couple of people are teleporting on Luke's screen. But hopefully... Buffer. I'm not sure if Luke's connection is able to hold, or if that's legitimately us again. It probably see, is us. See, one, but... three, four from UK, but Luke does get backspam by Lua again. Hopefully, Luke is able to maybe fend off two, three, four. Yes, triple greens. I I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, if he can protect some of the top spots for UK and make it even a two, three, four like we currently have, which isn't likely given that. As we see, a few people already taking the uh, long cut Ultra, there. Yeah. But uh, if he can hold a few of the top spots for UK, that's really all they need to secure a guaranteed win. Because like we say, even if they lose the race by 10, they can still have a guaranteed win, yeah. I think. So, just uh, France is in top two right now. Lua did slow down a bit. Lua slowing down might indicate that... Uh, there's fear Off. of slow on. There is a bit of buffer. Buffer not causing too much of an issue when it only takes about half a second to get away, but we will try fixing it again if it is on our side uh, by using things like live stream in the near future. But a uh, shot coming in. I'm not sure. Mega he... after the shock. That's that a is a fortunate pull. pull. And it. He doesn't go for Lackey. He's just going to go for the run, which is probably a wise decision. Let's spot that... Uh, oh, Jazz, there is a blue shell. Jazz is the only bagger. Jazz is the only bagger. Because they're, they're going for the top six. Yeah. They need it. I mean, I mean if the they points. get a top six, then fair enough, but not not right now. Yeah, they, 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 it's not absolutely required right now, but I get why... They're not bagging. They're just going to go for all the points they can. This is the thing, though. By doing that, they're costing the opportunity of getting the shock, and you do yeah. have to outweigh, you know. Does the shock but matter? But is getting first, and it looks like zone gets third, or was that fourth? I think a 2, 4, 6 may be just about enough to uh, fend. Okay, yep, yeah, that's that's going to be just enough i believe that's going to be four, five, seven, 35 to 38 yeah that's that's enough of a race yeah i think you so uk has secured the win but uh let's see what france can do with the uh point differential uh with this next race i mean they could still save it so that they get the second place if the uk or even germany loses one of their more you know advanced matches but Hopefully, for the sake of France, they can at least pull it back so it doesn't give them, like, enough where it would put them below a lot of the other teams in point. Yeah, we also have to factor in penalties. If those are actually getting going through, then France needs as many points as possible in this last race. Credit to Jazz. I've just spotted he's actually put that Tommy is no longer banned on the registry of the CSL while bagging for the United Kingdom in the World Cup. So that's dedication. 
Shout out to Jazz. Shout out to Jazz for being there. And we are going to Bowser's Castle 3. We most certainly are. And uh, BC3 might uh, assist some of the better players in terms of taking the cut. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess this is France trying to do a bit of a damage buffer. This like, was a UK track pick, but let's see if, what France can do from it. It's, it's possible that they can damage buffer, but... Again, we do see Zoan hit Luke with the greens. Maybe they can just try and hold a few spots, make it so that they only lose by about 40 or 30. That would probably be ideal in their eyes, given that they are currently... Luke going for better. the shroomless and failing it. Not, not good enough of an attempt from Luke. He we should would, have used his star. We would probably have expected a bit better He makes it Luke. on the second... Try. He, he does make yeah. it, I believe. We will. Yeah, he makes it. Yeah. But there's lag. And France. That's uh, Cosmos, Ooh, I believe. Cosmos stars him off. Is that a troll penalty? No, or... Cosmos is going forwards. Oh, he's going forward. Well, good play by Cosmos. Good play by Cosmos. And I guess France still hoping to get a top six to buffer the uh, differential quite heavily. But from what we see. UK do have a few low spots, but they also have a few mid spots. And mid spots here could be enough if they do have the shock, which they... Okay, that's the answer. Do they have the shock? Of course they do. They dodge. And uh, Luke... If the cut is golden... open, this is very good for Luke. It oh, is not open. No! And he hits the fireball. That is unfortunate for Luke. Hopefully... Um, Looks like he's going for Shroomless again. Makes it. Unfortunately, though, that is still putting him in a uh, bottom spot. The There's one pack... lap left, though. He, he can catch up. The pack is quite spread out, but uh, it's still a case where Luke could get into the top, like, four if yeah. he does make the shortcut and no one else does. Uh, top yeah, three are it, pretty yeah. gone. If the fib is still there, he's not going to be able to do cut. I reckon someone might unblock it for him. There's there a is a POW, so unless somebody was unblocking it before the POW struck... Xander then... in a star, not going for the unblock because it's Looks already like it's unblocked. Open. He's going for it. Gets bumped out of his position and that's going to pretty much seal the deal for his race because there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. He's going to try blocking Lua from taking it. I think he successfully... No, he... Did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And he fails himself. He so fails it himself. That's, that's worth zero for him. Or Luke. Uh, Fantastic and attempt. And Lua makes it. He, he's, he's still he's still trying. The, the dedication right here. Yeah, let's just assume that that's not happening for Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that that just says denied. <laughs> and then he finally makes it. <laughs> After a few attempts there, he does make it. That's a bit strange. That was insult to injury, that shocker. Right Most definitely was. I mean, at least he's still getting one point because Jazz is bagging. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he can celebrate his one point. He didn't make it across the line though. And that's going to be a winning race for the UK. Three, five, mm, nine. thirty-six to thirty-seven to the UK. Plus one. Yeah. And that will give the final scores to be if I can get that very quickly sorted. Four twelve to four six four. So. Loss by 52, not the worst point differential, but, uh... It's over 50. <laughs> no, apparently I got it the wrong way round. Oh, That's... Let's, let's put Rookie's score in. Clearly I must have got it... I must have got the 36 and the 37 the wrong way round. Oh, so did France win that race? By one? Uh, by one, yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, I saw a bottom two and I was like, what's going on? So, an exact 50. An exact 50 if rookie scores are the ones to follow. Was there uh, any, uh, like, disconnections and continues? Um, was it just all resets? I think it was just all resets, so that should be a 
score for yeah. Okay. That that should be a fine score. Four fifteen plus four sixty-three. Eight hundred seventy-six. That seems about right. I yeah, that is that is right. I think. Right. Um, let's very quickly uh, go back to the just general background so that we can mm -hmm. discuss the match a bit for a minute or two and then sign out so that we can give the opportunity to cast to some of the MK8 players that I believe their streams in about 15 20 minutes so. That, that was a close match, but at the same time, it's... Uh, at the very end, yeah, losing their grip. I mean, it's not the worst for France, because their, their point differential is enough where if the UK lose, or if Germany lose, they're still in with a shout of getting second. And second, again, like we've said, is important. It kind of stopped UK from getting massive point differential and as they go to Germany that's going to be a very very close match um, so this match as well as the match I believe we have yes uh, tomorrow which is Germany France will pretty much dictate uh, France's position and it will therefore dictate whether or not we're going to be looking at a close match for Germany UK or not on the Sunday, I believe, they play. But, uh... I think... 73 viewers. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be it from us yep. today. Um, again, there is a match, which I believe is Spain-France, happening very soon today uh, for MK8. Uh, Latin America versus Australia happening at 7pm EDT, I believe. So, they do have a few matches to play, but uh, not sure if we'll be there. Not sure if I'll be helping them host or not, but that's certainly it for Mario Kart Wii today. I'd like to give a last-second shout-out to uh, myself and Kalua for being the new uh, moderators for MK Boards for MK Wii. Let's give it a bit. I can't play the recorder. I would play the recorder for a fanfare, but let's just give a clap instead. A clap is a clap is just as good as a fanfare because all I can do on the recorder is play like I'm an ambulance, and I don't think we need an ambulance to welcome you into the into the mods. But uh, hopefully uh, we can get close matches. Hopefully with new mods on MK boards for Wii Fi, we can get. Uh, less less salt, less uh, less meme useless posts in serious discussions. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we will be able to come back tomorrow with. Uh, I think I have the. Do I have the picture? I don't think I do. Um, but like we said, we have four matches tomorrow. We will probably link them on the MK Boards Twitter. Please feel free to go check that. That's uh, at the true MK Boards. Uh, I think if you just search MK Boards, you'll find it on Twitter. But And any yeah. World Cup matches that we've done already will be uploaded to our YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash MK Boards. So subscribe to that as well. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, I've been Stunky. I've been Katie. And uh, we're signing out, so goodbye.